Hi, it's Dr. Stephen Park from drstephenpark.com. Do you have a stuffy nose all the time? Are you a chronic mouth breather? Have you tried nasal saline, allergy medications, and decongestants, only to have it come back later on? You've probably been given a number of explanations for your congestion, such as allergies, deviated nasal septum, or even nasal polyps. But one condition that's almost never considered by most doctors is what's called nasal valve collapse. This is when your nostrils literally collapse as you breathe in. There are many reasons for this, but one of the more common situations is what happens 10 to 20 years after rhinoplasty. By narrowing the tip of your nose to make it smaller, it weakens the cartilage in your nostrils, which acts as a support structure. It can also happen without any nasal surgery as well. If you have internal nasal congestion due to a deviated septum or allergies, then your nostrils will naturally collapse to some degree when you inhale through your nose. Here's one simple technique that you can use now to see if you have flimsy nostrils. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Take both your index fingers and press firmly on the area just next to your nostrils. Then lift up the skin of your cheeks and pull up and out towards the direction of your outer eyes. Now take another deep breath in. If you can breathe in much better, then you have flimsy nostrils. This is called the caudal maneuver. If this test worked for you, then nasal dilator strips, also called breathe right strips, may help you, help you. There are also clips that you can put on the inside of your nose and your nostrils that works much better, such as nasal vents, sinus cones, or breathe with ease. There are many ways of manage managing this problem without having to use medications or devices for the rest of your life. And I'll discuss these options and other ways of breathing better in future video segments. Until next time, this is Dr. Stephen Park. So long.